The new Unity TechStream 2021.2 is now available, and I'm going to be going over the latest updates and features as part of this release. The content for this video comes from the official Unity blog post. Building on the ability to develop custom UI for Unity Editor Extensions, UI Toolkit in 2021.2 now supports the authoring of runtime UI. This means that creators can use UI Toolkit to author interfaces for games and applications directly within Unity. The Terrain Tools package is coming out of Experimental and is now released. This means it has passed extensive testing and validation procedures, including the creation of documentation, changelog, and license files so you can use the package with confidence in your next project. Speed Tree 8 vegetation can now be directly imported into the High Definition Render Pipeline, otherwise known as HDRP. New shader graph-based shaders are now provided for both the Universal Render Pipeline, URP, and HDRP. And these improve performance and visual quality using new custom interpolators to interpolate normal, tangents, and bitangents, as well as the new permaterial coloring overrides. Decals have been added to URP with two modes, screen space or using debuffer. The latest is less adapted to mobile GPU architectures, but gives access to surface properties for more advanced blending. UX has been improved for decal projector placement as well, pivot point and scale transform tools, prefab support, and multi-select capability. A normal blending option has been added to HDRP, improving the blending on non-flat shapes, and the full HDRP decal shader is now accessible from the visual effect graph. This feature enables Unity creators to enrich their projects with indirect lighting that responds to real-time changes in light and material properties. Interactive visual feedback makes it possible to significantly reduce lighting design iteration times. In the 2021.2 release, we have re-enabled support for enlightened real-time global illumination in HDRP and the built-in render pipeline, as well as adding support to URP. We've also extended support for enlightened real-time global illumination to next-gen and newly released tech such as Apple Silicon, PlayStation 5, and Xbox Series X. This new feature makes it possible for users to utilize a progressive GPU light mapper for faster bakes at larger light map resolutions. To make lighting for cinematics easier and more efficient, we've created the Light Anchor component, a dedicated tool to manipulate lights around pivot point instead of world space. Various presets allow lighting artists to quickly place lights around the character or any center of interest. We've also added URP light layers support to allow masking of lights in the scene to affect specific meshes within the same layer. This feature is now supported in both URP and HDRP. Get approximate dynamic real-time GI as a post-effect with the new screen space global illumination, SSGI improvements, falling back on probes and sky when they can't find samples while re-marching the screen space buffers. For your hero props and characters, specular occlusion has been improved when using ambient occlusion and bent normal maps. And finally, area lights now support fabric and are compatible with hair falling back on GGX lighting. Our new lens flares tools simulate the effect of lights refracting inside a camera lens or human eye or creature eye. You are able to customize and apply flares, halos, and polygonal patterns, artifacts caused by aperture blades to selected light sources in a scene to achieve an artistic effect. Lens flares support occlusion and many procedural placement tools to prevent adding and setting manually multiple layers of the same pattern. Add cinematic quality flares in a second by choosing from a collection of pre-made effects, sun, car lights, anamorphic, stylized, and so on, provided as additional samples in the HDRP and URP packages. We recently released two companion apps on the App Store that enable artists to leverage powerful mobile AR data in their cinematic animation pipelines. The companion apps connect to the Unity editor through new live capture Unity package found in the description. Unity face capture enables you to preview and record real-time facial performances in the Unity editor. This simplifies the process of adding realistic face animation to your characters, saving animators many hours of time and effort by capturing facial expressions and head movements to control the character in real time. Use the Unity Virtual Camera 2 preview and record camera motion for films, animation, games, and other content, block shorts, and discover your lens language, create storyboards, scout locations and virtual environments, explore, feel, and understand the space. VFX Graph for URP is now officially supported for PC and consoles. After development teams fixed issues and added lit particle support, we have improved mobile support, 
compute support on mobile devices varies widely across brands, mobile GPU architecture, and operating systems. Only a subset of high-end mobile devices can be officially supported by the VFX graph, and other devices might encounter issues. Unity's built-in particle system is still the recommended choice for a wide range of mobile applications. You can use any custom shader graph shader, except URP sprites and URP slash HDRP decals to target VFX graph. These shaders can also use new lighting models like HDRP hair or fabric, or they can modify particles at the vertex level to enable effects like birds with flapping wings, wobbling particles like soap bubbles, and much more. No need to use third-party software to go back and forth to change your source assets when using signed distance field. The new sign distance field baker tool allows you to quickly and directly bake geometry in texture 3D in the editor or at runtime using the API. It's baked as sign distance field that can be used within the VFX graph, including preview and debug windows and the ability to save session data. For more advanced users, you can now receive large data from C Sharp or compute shaders via graphics buffers instead of texture baking to create your own complex simulations like voids, large data rendering, fluids, hair simulation, or crowds. For more details on the new features in VFX Graph, check out the link in the description. With the release of Unity 2021.2, we introduced some exciting new features in the shader graph, such as surface option support and URP, custom interpolators, the ability to target the built-in render pipeline, and categories on Blackboard. These additions have greatly improved artist workflows and shader performance. URP surface options allow you to expose more options from your shader graph, shader, and material inspector. This allows for more powerful, flexible shaders and simplifies managing your shader library. With custom interpolators, you'll be able to pass information from the vertex stage to the fragment stage, whether it is vertex data or results of operations done in the vertex stage. Blackboard categories enable you to group the properties in the blackboard and expose them as expandable sections of the material inspector. Built-in render pipeline now supports shader graph. Teams that are not yet ready to upgrade to URP or HDRP can access the power of shader graph for the projects. Certain features such as XR are not yet available in built-in target, but creating graphs that support all three rendering backends will be hugely beneficial to many creators. In 2021.2, we have improved the support of reflection probes. We have added reflection probe blending to allow gradual fade out of one reflection probe while fading in the others as a reflective object moves from one zone to another in the scene. The gradual transition avoids popping artifacts and provides a higher quality of reflection representation. To add clouds, you can now choose between procedural cloud layers to use as background or volumetric clouds to use as background as well or to fly through. Both are easy to set up and you can quickly tweak the default parameters to achieve different kinds of realistic clouds. Advanced users, you can access more settings and import your own map for finer artistic control. You can tweak lighting parameters for different atmospheric conditions and cloud moods such as ambient light probe dimmer, scattering tint, powder effect intensity, multi-scattering, and shadows. You can also control wind direction and speed, as well as shape and erosion effects on clouds. We've also updated the local volumetric fog formatting and blending, including colored volume masks, a render texture optional input, higher resolution volume masks, improved 3D texture atlas, and various samples to download from the HDRP package. For realistic hair and fur, the HDRP hair shader offers a brand new physical mode, which uses Marshner slash Disney-based lighting model in addition to the existing approximate KGS slash K1. This new parameterization is easier to set up and more appropriate for photoreal strand-based rendering, exposing the physical parameters of hair while the KGS slash K model offers greater artistic control and faster performance, but is harder to set up in slightly lower quality. We've made many enhancements that respond directly to creators' feedback, including improvements to HDRP. Sometimes effects, shaders, or ray tracing are too heavy to run at 4K or even at 2K, and rendering two cameras at high resolution in VR is too constrained for high-end graphics. With dynamic resolution improvements and the support of three new cutting-edge upscalers, NVIDIA Deep Learning Super Sampling, or DLSS, AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution, or FSR, and our own temporal upscaler, you can boost your performance on PC, consoles, and desktop VR. That's the summary highlight of the latest features for this update. You can find the download link in the description below for this latest tech stream and everything else referenced. Thanks for watching, and as always, please like and subscribe.